Somehow, it seems, I'm getting worse. Yes, another terrible week last weekend of predicting championship scores, but we've got to keep buggering on, haven't we? It's time to do predictions for week number seven. I'm going to carry on with the same sound and rational logic that I've been using for the previous two weeks. And remember, we only have one rule when we do these predictions, and that is that Oxford always win. Oxford always win. <laughs> You serious? Yes, I know we lost to Bristol City last weekend, and I know we've got a really tough test this weekend in Burnley, but hear me out. Oh, let's just move on to week seven predictions. And we start on Friday night with Plymouth Argyle versus Luton Town. Luton have certainly got their act together. They recorded back-to-back -back wins for the first time this season. But they're up against the Plymouth side, who I think are doing all right under Wayne Rooney. Narrow defeat at the weekend, but I thought they were a little bit unlucky to lose. And I think Wayne Rooney is winning over the Plymouth fans. And I think this is what Home Park is built for. Packed house, under lights, a lot of angry, crazy farmers going wild. So I think it's going to be a cracking night for the Green Army, and I'm going for an Argyle win. Plymouth 2, Luton 1. Blackburn Rovers versus QPR. Blackburn continue their good start. They probably would have liked to win against Preston, but a solid... Definitely hard fought, nil nil draw. And they'll be thinking back at home, they can collect all three points, but QPR are certainly no mugs and they're a tough side to beat. And I think the R's are going to pick up a point at Ewood Park. It's another draw for Blackburn. I'm going for a 1 1 draw. Derby County versus Norwich City, and you've just got a tail throughout this championship of sides that are better at home than they are away, and that is certainly the case for these two sides. Norwich recorded a big win at the weekend, and maybe they've got their act together going forward. I still think they're a little bit suspect at the back, and I certainly think Derby are a better side at home than they are away, and I think this one's actually going to be a high-scoring draw, so it's probably going to be completely wrong, but I'm going to go for an entertaining game at the baseball ground. That's right. I'm bringing it back. 2-2 two, two, draw. Sheffield Wednesday versus West Bromwich Albion. West Bromwich Albion have been immense to start the season. Another win for them. Difficult victory as it turned out. But when you've got Madger up front, he cannot stop scoring. Wednesday really struggling at the moment. And I think it's going to be more pain for this Sheffield Wednesday side. Barry Bannon aside, who seems to be scoring a worldie every single week. I do think this Wednesday side is going to get... Unstuck by the baggies, another stellar day for West Bromwich Albion. It's going to be Sheffield Wednesday nil, West Bromwich Albion two. Hull City versus Cardiff City. Cardiff, it is the end of the road for Creme Brulee. That was defeat at the weekend to Leeds was his last game in charge. And you'll be looking to hopefully get a new manager in soon and really start your season because it's been a disgraceful start with only one point and one goal so far. But maybe it's the wrong time to play Hull City, who recorded their first victory of the season and for Tim Volta. And maybe they've just clicked and found what they were looking for under Volta, who is no doubt wanting to play almost a kamikaze style of attacking football. And I think it's going to be... Another victory for Hull, so their season is well and truly up and running now. More misery for Cardiff, I'm afraid, but at least you're going to get a goal. Hull 3, Cardiff 1. Leeds United versus Coventry City. Another manager who is struggling is Mark Robbins. It's unthinkable, really, but from an outsider and a neutral, but Coventry fans, if there's any watching this, is it the end of the road for Robbins? If you lose this game... Do you think that you need to start to look for a new boss? It's going to be a really tough game up at Elland Road. Leeds got back to winning ways at the weekend over Cardiff. And just Coventry just looked really poor, especially at the back at the moment. Very disjointed, and I'm not sure why. And I think Leeds are going to take advantage of it. And I, but I do think it's going to be an entertaining game. I'm going to go for Leeds 3, Coventry 2. Not such an entertaining game. In this one is Middlesbrough versus Stoke up in the northeast. Borough will be disappointed in losing that derby last weekend. And I think they'll just be putting all of their eggs in their basket to beat a Stoke side who have struggled at the early part of the season. It wasn't the new manager bounce they were hoping for against Hull. And they just look really shoddy 
at the back. And I think Middlesbrough are just going to do enough to win this game. Edge out Stoke in quite a dull, narrow game. And I'm going for Middlesbrough 1, Stoke City 0. Millwall versus Preston North End. Not expecting this one to be a classic either. And mainly that's due to the way Hecking Bottom setting his side up. I think they're going to be tough to beat, hard to break down like they were against Blackburn. Credit to them in that Blackburn game for playing large percentage of that game with 10 men and still coming out with a draw. It certainly shows that those players are willing to fight and they've got a bit of bite about them. Millwall did pick up a creditable draw against QPR last time out, but I don't think there's going to be any goals in this one at all. I'm going for a nil-nil draw. Oxford United versus Burnley, undoubtedly the game of the weekend. Oxford disappointing again on the road, in the lead, throwing it away against Bristol City. Burnley made to fight against Portsmouth, but they just about got the job done with a last minute P-roller of a goal. And my goodness, there was some celebration police out from Pompey fans. Celebrate however you like. I don't really care. But Oxford have won three games at home, but this is undoubtedly going to be the biggest test of, that we face this season, home or away. And Oxford also have Mark Harris, who has been banging in the goals this season. He's in great form. And if you get Mark Harris just a few yards out from goal, like Alec Baldwin, he don't miss. Anyway, I have the golden rule, so I have to back Oxford to win. I'm crazy and I'm nuts, but I'm going for a 2-1 win to my beloved United. Portsmouth versus Sheffield United. Unbeaten Sheffield United go down to Fratton Park and they'll be looking to no doubt think they can get another counter-attacking style victory, which they've done very well so far this season. But I feel Portsmouth have been a bit hard done by in the games that they've had. Very unlucky against Burnley, very unlucky against Leeds in the opening part of the season. And they pretty much had the hardest fixture list certainly of the promoted sides, and they'll be hoping that they can get away from this game and then play some more teams in the middle of the pack and start to pick up some points. But don't fret, Pompey fans, and don't give up hope in the moose. Certainly do not. And I think this is going to be where you upset the odds and you get that first victory. Yes, it's going to be defeat for the first time of the season for Sheffield United and a big victory for Pompey. I'm going Pompey 2, Sheffield United 1. Watford versus Sunderland. Yes, Sunderland got back to winning ways in their northeast derby against Borough. Watford got well and truly stuffed by Norwich. And therefore, I have to fancy the Black Cats at this game at Vicarage Road. I think it's going to be a tough test, though, for Sunderland. But I think they've got too much quality from what I've seen for them to worry too much about it. And they won't want a repeat of what happened at Plymouth. And therefore, I feel it's going to be Watford who are going to be the ones suffering. I'm going to go for Watford nil, Sunderland 2. And we move on to Sunday. Finally, we have Swansea City versus Bristol City. Another tale of two cities. No love lost between the Bristolians and the men from Wales. And Bristol City ekes out Oxford United. Liam Manning hanging on to his job by his fingertips with that 2-1 win. Painful for me, but great for Bristol City. But again, like a lot of sides, they've been good at home, but they've struggled away from Ashton Gate. Swansea have been fantastic. What a start to the season they've had under Luke Williams, proving a lot of doubters wrong, I think. I don't think people would have thought Pot Swansea would have had quite the start, but they had a very impressive win away, and I think they're going to back that up with a win at home, heaping more pressure on Liam Manning. It's going to be Swansea City. City 2, Bristol City 1. And that will do it for week number 7, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below. Let me know how crazy and nuts that I am, or maybe you think I've got it spot on. And of course, please leave your predictions as well. I'll be back to do a review of Oxford United versus Burnley on Saturday. And then we've got a crazy week because we've got midweek stuff. So there'll be predictions videos and review videos flying out all over the place. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notify bell so you don't miss out on anything. And please give this video a like. I'll be back very soon. And thanks for watching. My work is done here. What do you mean your work is done? You don't do anything. <laughs> Didn't I?